Wait, ha have we actually <laughs> You're official okay. cadets. Hey. Right, so let's celebrate it here. Uh, Spike sp uh, Speed, what is it? Spikes what? Spike Speed, what speed do you spike cars at? Uh, I wasn't here for the training for that. That's okay. 80 miles per hour and below. Why is that? Uh, you don't want them to to die if you. Uh, yes, you know, correct. Because of and what it might just fucking slide into someone's chin and they're fucking dead, and then we're dealing with that. Now, the best thing I want to know about spike strips is I never want to see anybody do this. Okay, I don't want to see someone do run out and do this. So take Monday off. Now you'll notice these spike strips. That's going to stay there. That we talked about That's going to stay there to, uh, until somebody picks it up Academy through storms. So if we're running a high-end pursuit, and let's say it's going on and you're getting a little fucking tired, you forget that that's there. Anybody can pick that up. And I mean anybody. Okay? Thank you for taking the now, time. I'll say one thing about pursuits. It's something that I hold to a very high standard across the board. I want to see if you can end a pursuit with a spike strip. Uh, it's usually safer than slamming someone into a fucking wall. So the, the way you should be mentally used, if you're spiking is usually up to obviously parallel units, you know? If you're a tertiary, you don't really have, you're not doing that, right? So mm -hmm. understanding how powerful running parallel is in pursuits, people don't, people want to be in the fucking thick of it and there is primary. But what they don't understand is the people that can end a chase in a heartbeat is parallel. Good paralleling in a pursuit can end can end a one-hour pursuit in Amen. in two seconds. Amen I would argue now, that parallels are actually yes. more important than your people that are. Yeah, Thank you. I, I'm a good driver. I know I'm a fucking Thank good driver, guys. but so good much. parallel. Holy shit, makes me want to cry. Mm. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, Flop, slacks, Cornway. Do you want to talk about all this stuff? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Have fun, or whatever that is. Uh, McNulty, can I? Um, Hand you the responsibility of this cadet, sorry, this recruit, in order to graduate to a cadet whenever you think is ready. You make that sure. call, right? Yeah. All right, get ready. Um, uh, do we want to talk? Probably not here. Let's go. Uh, let's grab a separate room real quick. I don't care where. It it, it could even be the holding cell, just somewhere out of the way okay. of everybody. How did uh, Shift to Academy go? Really good. I had a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, I enjoyed Shift 3. I feel bad that I missed uh, Day 2. I got so busy, I, c I couldn't find time, but I I'm glad that I was there to help out. I thought I was going to be, like, you know, pulling my hair out, but for the most part, I mean, everybody was solid. I enjoyed kind of, and I mean, granted, I don't know if we did it differently in 3 than we than you guys did in 2, but everybody kind of having their opportunity to kind of do a module was very nice. It was very uh, enjoyable. That, that's, what we, that's what we did for the most part. Uh, we, we would just practice and then do it and you have to demonstrate what's going on yeah all right so i'll keep it brief because of not only one time but i know you guys just came off of a pretty busy long academy um to catch up to speed real quick uh kit called me cornwood and uh kit told me that you guys spoke to murphy Mm -hmm. and that things went well uh in terms of the fact that line of questioning pretty much just proved that braun doesn't have any idea what actually happened doesn't remember does not recall the issue is that we push charges based on evidence beyond a reasonable doubt and typically in a situation where uh we have evidence beyond a reasonable doubt i will push if i feel like we don't i won't the problem is that we have a possession we have a bunch of evidence uh to him and we don't actually have anything to say otherwise other than the word of him saying i don't know which tells me that this needs to go to court i've already reached out to oliver uh to see if he'd be willing to help push us to the docket and have a sit down and, and discuss because truthfully and slacks i was going to talk to you about a phone subpoena for murphy braun i'll be honest with you uh phone subpoena or not I do not think uh, a phone subpoena is going to be enough evidence to prove his innocence uh, at this point. I think there's not enough it, there to... Is it a report or is it an incident report? It's an incident report. I've got charges pending. What What is uh, what is an incident number? What, what is it called? It is. It, the, the MDT is broken. You, you got to go to the BOLO and look at references. 
Oh, really? Okay, yeah. So yeah. if you go to my Bolo, uh, Murphy Braun and ICU, go to the reference and click that, it will redirect you, which by the way is the nicest feature we I have, have ever yeah, seen. Oh I'm my not, god, what a blast. Yeah, if we if we had that on profiles, good lord. Oh my god, I would be Wet just, dream. Um, I saw yeah, that and that's the future. Out. That's the future. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, we're trying to get there. So um I do have some information that I need to add here, a report that I, I need to do. Um to add to this. The gun that you found off Murphy Brown. Yes, sir. That's the first gun I lost that belonged to me. And yeah, I, was, I I got worried about this. What what, what was uh, the process for that? It's out of state. Um, just because murder was involved, um, had out of state forensic work on this one with, um, you know, um, the weapon, of course. Mm -hmm. Can we confirm? Uh... Okay. Can we confirm so, the validity of this definitely being your firearm? And we can definitely agree to the validity yeah, of this being be like involved? Yeah, uh, forensic lab report. And they'll be entered as a piece of evidence that the DOJ can look at. Okay. So I'll what work on that for you next. Give me like a dare to work on so I can get that complete Demi done. Unit and um, like I said, that's the gun. And it was involved in the killing of uh, Christmas Costello. Wow. Investigation that you and I are working no on. No shit. Really? Is that? Same one. Wow. Okay. And that's an investigation that ties into uh, a Jaeger. And the funny part is a Jaeger ties back to your first, if a original investigation, the, the second one with, with Murphy, because the clown is potentially his friend or somebody that he um, claims as his own. Mm -hmm. So this is like coming back full circle, how the first investigation for the murder to what happened to Murphy and the people involved are linked back. Jesus Christ. I really got myself in a shithole on this one. This is, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna help you. Academy's done, of course. Well, I got, you yeah, know, yeah. through more Academy, but once that's done, I'm, I'm gonna be able to help you and start looking into it, too, as well. Okay. Um, so up to this point, I'm gonna ask you, should I be reaching out to Murphy? I'm assuming Murphy's out right now, uh, which is fine. We still have 30 days to press. Yeah, um, and it's gonna go on the docket. Yeah. I do need to ask a question. Uh... Right. Mm -hmm. respectfully speaking, I was looking through the report on the questioning with Braun at the initial time of me searching him, uh, and placing him in cuffs on scene. He had bottles of alcohol on him and Oh boy. The alcohol alone, not illegal. I did not confiscate that. There's really nothing sure. illegal for that. I got the medical report. Nothing stated in the medical report. He was under the influence that is now in, okay. in the report in okay. his statement in interrogation. Uh, there was mentions of him consuming alcohol. Did we ever get those bottles of liquor from him? If not, we have it documented at the minimum, but I would have liked those bottles if we have them. Uh, I, I did not take them from him, no. Okay. Where are you going with this flop? I don't understand. Uh, I'm not going anywhere with it. It's more or less just another piece of evidence. Because uh, in, in his statement, he's stating that he was... He, he went to that damn party and he drank whiskey over there, which is what he had in his, uh, uh, on his person. More or less just adding that in as another piece for us, uh, for evidence. I wanted to just make sure that we're, you know, following due process properly. Um, outside of that, though, if we can try and get that, that'd be great. It's already photographed, so I'm not super concerned about it. I'm mainly concerned about the firearm on his person. Um... When Academy's said and done, we'll go through this. Do you want me to write up a mock uh, phone subpoena so that we have something? What, yeah, yeah. whatever you want to... So, so, so phone subpoenas. I'm going I'm to be complete honest with you, okay? Yeah, be um, blunt. We can, write, we can write them down and we can send to DOJ. The problem is technology. It's just um, they're having uh, issues with the machines that usually uh, takes the cellular data from the phones and gives it out to us like it did in the past. Mm-hmm. So the machines are broken right now. So um, we can send the subpoena. It's just going to wait for the machines to get fixed so we can get the results. So it might take some time. Okay. If you think I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to leave this part sort of in your hands, not, not as like your responsibility, but if you think it is worth us pursuing a phone subpoena, I'm willing to write one. 
if you do not think it's going to aid or assist well, what is the goal of a phone subpoena ask yourself that if you feel like uh, it answers part of the key um you know questions of your investigation then go for it because it might give us you know a little bit of what's behind the curtains or why this kidnapping happened or maybe maybe the instigator or the attacker did try to call murphy or did try to text him something before he attacked him that's that's where i'm going with this that's that's my line is that 30 what it was what 30 45 minutes before murphy was found somebody was kidnapped from the courthouse and at the minimum it'd be interesting to see who he's, who, who he was in contact with that day uh to see if we can maybe gather another potential suspect I mean, to question but that is did he that, not did, did he not uh agree to having his phone checked archer and clitus when you asked him that question did you, did you all bring that up at all or was it not asked uh, I, I, don't I don't think, think we talked about the phone. I don't think we asked about that. Okay, yeah. so just talk to him, Flops. I mean, he might say, hey, have my phone. You know, it's here's, a judge after all, right? Yeah, Here, here's something, though, that was mentioned by Kit. Kit, actually, do you, do you want to explain this? Because because I, I, I didn't even realize this until you mentioned it. Which part? Uh, what part? I, I am very cooked right now. No, you're, you're, you're fine. Um, Kit called me earlier and kind of caught me up to speed, and I mentioned the phone subpoena, and Kit made a, a good point. Murphy does not have a phone on him in his possession. Oh, yeah. His, um, so when Murphy woke up from ICU, I'm gonna throw my chicken in um, real quick. Give me a second. Turner told me, search him, just make sure everything is documented because I guess only really the, the gun and the magazines and whatnot had been documented, but we didn't document any of his other possessions and also to photograph what clothes he was in. Um, he didn't have a phone on him. Um, so whatever phone he had that night is gone. So we're not I mean, going to get his phone information then. We can, I think we can still subpoena the number, but we need to get that number. Hey Siri. So have him remember the number then flop. Set a timer for 17 minutes. Phone subpoena on that phone. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. These uh, are, um, these are the challenges I think that we're going to come into, you know, the oh, fact that people, people lose their, their SIM cards. The same way that suspects will ditch a gun, we're going to be seeing people make phone calls and ditch their SIM cards. I guarantee it. A thousand percent. Yep. People are going to be throwing these things in the ocean. We're about to enter a new web of information where we're going to get lost in it. I, um... I don't know. I think uh, I think it's it's going to be important for us to if if we see suspects with additional SIM cards on their person. Do you think that we we have PC to document those? I think. Hmm. It's a it's I'm a not, weird. It's. Uh, I would document the phone number, and that's it. I wouldn't take them off them. No, no, not just, take them off, but just document the phone number. I don't see a problem with that. I think that should be okay if... Uh, I'm just trying to think if that's an infringement on the rights or not. If you do something yeah. like that, that's all. We might have to because talk to the a DOJ about a phone? it. Would that be similar to opening somebody else's phone and seeing their phone number? Well, right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I mean, but it's also like how we document... We used to document people's phone numbers because we used to... It's something that we had a big phone book. Um... I don't think that was an infringement of people's rights, especially if, but, but then again, this isn't the, them publicly posting it somewhere for us to document. This is SIM cards on their person. So I'm not sure. My rebut is, are we, are, are we filing a subpoena for the phone or are we filing a subpoena for what is involved on the phone number? And the phone number is attached to the SIM. On the phone number. Well, the SIM card is attached to the phone number. The exactly. phone is just, think of the phone as a vessel and think of the SIM card as like the head of the vessel. We're we're subpoenaing SIM cards. We're not subpoenaing the phone. Correct. We don't care about the phone because the the SIM cards can be swapped. Yeah, I guess, I guess you're going straight to the phone number. So, I mean, here, here's here's the thing. I mean, I, I think the long and the short of it, looking at this thing and looking at the statement, what Archer and I kind of got it down to, after talking to Rod Long, who was with Luis Fernandez when Archer met with Luis. Um, he said that he picked up Louise after wherever he was at and, you know, he, where he was at, he claimed he saw the, the potential kidnapping happen at the courthouse. So really, unless Louise 
expands on his his statement where he was like, I don't know, maybe maybe it was this, maybe it was that. Yeah, or, I, the statement Ron I got from remembers. Luis, I just want to say, was I didn't Mirandize him uh, because it was on the phone. So that's why it's not in there. I'm trying to get him in here to have at least a formal um, statement from him. Even if it's nothing, like even if he still doesn't remember, I still want to get that. Of course. Um, I'd like that too. The question is, from, from Murphy's side... See, I basically, think, it's that clown that's that's literally, I think, is the only thing that's left. And the clowns, uh, forgive me, there, there's, there's so many factors at play. The clown's involvement was at the courthouse? So, so the timeline of events. There was a reference events, to a clown. Yeah, the timeline of events. And again, we don't we don't know if this kidnapping is even involved. It's just given sort of the timing of everything and Luis's statement, but basically there was a 911 that there was a kidnapping at the courthouse. Two individuals were kidnapped, a clown and a man. Um, Luis did stay on the phone. He thinks it might've been Murphy, but he's not sure. Um, then about half an hour later, we get all the dispatch calls on Joshua road uh, flop you and maple respond and you find murphy so that's why if we hadn't gotten that 911 for the kidnapping cuz that's our only reference that that even happened i i would not i don't think i'd have any doubt the that is literally the only reason i have even like a shred of doubt regarding murphy's possession of that gun was cuz of that kidnapping call yeah, and I don't feel good about pursuing criminal charges to this degree, especially on a judge, nonetheless. Not to mention, I don't even like going to court. If I could avoid it, I'd like to, but I know it's part of the job. This one's going to suck. If this ends up going to court, this is going to suck. I feel like we're leaning that way anyway. Um, But I'd, li I'd like to give Braun every opportunity possible and i want to be thorough about this from top to bottom and i i think up to this point we have been thorough from top to bottom i don't know i i think there's only very few factors at play that we haven't looked into yet and i think those factors are either one null and void or two we just haven't gotten to it yet and we're going to by the end of this if we don't have anything to state otherwise i definitely see a day in court for this uh and i don't know a lot of the lawyers uh, but I have been referenced by Kit uh, Slacks and Cornwood to uh, Mr. Oliver Day. Is that his name? Oliver? Oliver Hall. Yeah, Oliver, Oliver Hall, Hall is um, good people. He's fantastic. I mean, you got us. I was so confident. You can ask York that would get second degree on Ramaswamy and Lilith. And he changed my mind and said, I can get you first. I said, go ahead. And really? I did not believe in him. I, I, I did not believe he'd get first. And he was able to convince the judges in, in a trial. And he was able to articulate things pretty well. And got the guilty verdict. You saw it from hey, my experience. Who, who, did, uh, who did Denzel have today on his case? Because this is uh, semi-relevant. Samantha, Samantha Morningstar. Yeah. Uh, she might be worth talking to as well. I, I mean, I don't know her. I ain't never yeah, talked to I, her. I know, I know the tales. Uh, her and I are old friends. And she's uh, she's solid. Yeah, so, I mean you can pick from any pool of DOJ, whatever lawyer you want that you want to work with, as long as they have the understanding to not share this information outside the conversation you have. Maybe some, make them sign a contract or something or an agreement. Yeah, what's Maybe up, get them on like our retainer. I'll say this so, much: I've I've already reached out to Oliver, and I don't want to, you know, quote unquote lawyer pick and tell him, hey, someone else reach out first. I'm gonna give it a day. We have some time. I'm going to give it a day, see yeah. if Oliver reaches out, have a conversation with him. If I feel like he's a good pick, then I'll go with him. If I don't get a reach out to, then I will move to whoever's next, whoever I can find. Sounds like it might be Samantha, and then go from there. I don't I don't want to, like, reach out to four lawyers and have them all say yes to a yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, no, we're not yeah, no, 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 that's, that's, no, that's wise. You're, you're doing the right thing. Um, Agreed. Fortunately, what we do have on our time is side. It, on our, what we do have on our side is time right now. We, um, have, we do. We got, yeah, that's not all we got. You know, I think uh, I think everybody did a really good job of jumping on this really fast. 
and we we have what like 20 days still i believe so yeah i did notice uh in the report uh if you guys check the incident report does it say on the top invalidate for you yes okay i just want to make sure that wasn't just me um i'll make a little note of the day of the incidents so that we have at least a, a date yeah uh in the title for now until that hopefully um, resolves i i have the dates also under the timeline uh i don't know that the you know what i just realized chat i don't know where we'd want to start it on the, the oven the six at it 400 depends degrees on fahrenheit the, i guess it depends and on i don't have the, mitts to pull out the pan the 911 at the courthouse ends up being anything <laughs> oh, if it becomes no. unrelated then it'll be the six i would i would think Plutus? Uh -huh. Paper towels, I think I, I think Do you mind I, if I lay my head on your chest. <laughs> uh that's pretty cute. <laughs> McNulty, what the <laughs> oh, this on? The hell McNulty? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, hey, does anybody anyway, need so, does no. anybody need me for anything? Before no, I go to bed. Hey, what happened with the uh, honey buns? Oh, <laughs> uh, he just explains flakes to him. Told him to remember my fucking name and said congratulations. Now go have a drink. Oh, perfect. All right, awesome. Thank All you. right. Good night, everybody. Kisses him. Good night, McNulty. Good night, McNulty. Good night, McNulty. McNulty. Good shit today. Oh, fuck. Okay. So... Sorry, you were saying I do apologize. Well, we, we, we kind of stopped talking when you wanted to rest your head on Cornwood's chest. Did we want to go back to that or are we moving past that? Move past it. All right, so sure? we know that the <laughs> the um the statements we still need to get. Uh somebody needs to talk to Jaeger, try to identify the clown. If we can identify the clown, we need to have the clown come in for questioning. I need to get a formal statement from Luis. Is there is there anybody else? Um I'd say you gotta find the clown and you gotta obviously talk to Murphy again as far as that phone number. Push for the phone subpoena, see if we can get any records or text message or phone calls as far as who could be behind this. Okay. Um if we're gonna go the subpoena route and try and go down that route and get the number, uh Captain Slacks, do you I I'm gonna ask you, because we don't have anything yeah. in order at the moment. Correct. Would you like me to try and use an older system to uh, fill this out and submit it to you personally? No, we have templates. We have a sufficient template. All you gotta do is fill in the blank. Yeah. Uh, it's on the MDW or MDT. MDT. Sorry. Is it really? MDT. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. An advanced search. I'm terrible. By what is it? Sorry. Go to reports. Go to advanced search, and then search by subpoenas, and then it should be a test subpoena by my Captain Ruth. Oh, sorry, uh, Christian Winner. Holy shit. Okay. I, that's amazing. Perfect. I will, uh, I will fill this out on my time. I'm assuming, uh, you can tell me otherwise. I'm assuming I'm going to copy what's in this and then yeah just fill in the blank okay got it all right perfect i can uh i can get to that as soon as possible i think we have more than enough for it i'm just gonna grab a 24 hour i don't want anything more nothing less i just think a 24 hour from the day of to see who he was in contact with that day once we get that number i will um i will follow through I know we haven't had a proper chance to like have a meeting about this and talk about it. I feel like this case deserves a time to sit down and talk. So I appreciate you guys coming. No, no, through. absolutely. I mean, this is just a huge case in my opinion, right? Because yes, sir. This will set the standard as far as how things will be treated going forward. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think, uh, I think there's like a few key cases uh, that have happened so far, and this is probably the biggest one. Yeah, I really and, stepped in shit on this one. This is uh, this is one that. One of us was going to have to. I'm, I'm just glad that it's happening now and it's not something we'll, we'll have to have in question.
but you're 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 100 yeah. percent right <clears throat> yeah this is a this is a big deal you, you know so going back to what i was saying earlier about denzel denzel's case this morning was a big one too i mean uh i don't know if y'all saw that but uh we have it verified now that rolled notes 100 percent are dirty money yeah really I, see, the problem is like i was trying to look into that i don't know yeah. Wait, how is that so confirmed so, by the doj uh mm -hmm. so that was that was super exciting i i think that's a huge win for us and especially for denzel please uh please you know congratulate him on that one i don't think he realized how big that was yeah he was but, just um, <laughs> honestly he was just being petty and the next thing you know yeah, it, uh, yeah. Um, so basically, uh, I tried to talk to judge. We tried to talk to judge Adams what about it about after this? the fact. Um, it's Aubrey Webster. Oh, uh, it's from earlier today, but, um, Aubrey Webster had 4,000, uh, rolled bills on his person and, uh, the DOJ determined that it was dirty money because the ink was still wet. Um, and I think there's more to it. That's all that Judge Adams was able to tell me because oh. uh, it was storm. <laughs> I can't. And uh, hi. And um, well, was this like a bench spot. trial or was this? Yeah, uh, it was a bench trial. <laughs> okay, so, so it doesn't. Oops. Then I don't know if that really gonna. Uh, Go ahead. I, I think it does because that's that's what I was talking to Adams about, and basically it at least create it at least lays a foundation for us to charge. Uh, that I mean the DOJ. Uh, stated that people that have rolled notes on them that's dirty money they they uh, found him guilty of that i have a question then am i changing bronze charge from possession of rolled notes to a misdemeanor charge of dirty money do we even have possession of rolled notes from him yes yeah, it's it's already on there. I, I went to double check that actually. Um but uh but yeah, so it's it's a hundred percent confirmed, which I'll be honest, I mean, does that make his case any any worse? Is it is it more damning? I don't think it's confirmed. I don't just because you got in a bench trial I, with the judge. If it was I a trial, think, I think I think yes. I think because, it creates a foundation and if we keep pushing that charge, um we can create a pattern at least and really solidify that charge. When this was is, this? This is a good step for us. Uh, this was this morning. I don't see the instant report. Did he make it or somebody else? Who make was it? the judge that no, presided he, over the case? Because I, I, uh, I'd love to. It was, Aubrey, it was, Aubrey Webster, 1032. It was, um, Norman okay. Adams. Okay. Um, I think I for was, now. Uh, Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was supposed to talk to Norman about it today, but I uh, I didn't see him the rest of the day. But I'll be honest, I'm going to keep, I think, my current charge for just the possession of banded notes and small banded notes for now. Because uh, tr truthfully, I wasn't even going to throw that on there because there's no time or fine associated with it. I just have it on there as a formality. Um, I don't necessarily care about the couple bills he had rolled up on his possession more than I care about the firearm that was used and the possession but of the firearm that he Cor had. Cornwood, didn't you, didn't you say something about that earlier about if, um, uh, so, so the whole, the whole thing that I was thinking was that if somebody did plant that gun on him, that's a that that's a pretty crazy thing to do, right? Because those right. guns are are so invaluable to people. Right. Um, and if somebody planted rolled bills on them in a way that kind of the purpose of that would be that because right. it's illegal. Right. So. Yeah. Exactly. So if he was kidnapped and if the gun was planted. And if the notes were also planted, right, under the assumption that he has been kidnapped and all this stuff has happened, then what this would do is the kidnapper also knows, because they don't know the law like we do, right? They know that they got that money from some kind of illegal activity. They know it's dirty money, so they put it on him to frame him, just like they would have put it on him to take the, uh, uh, or sorry, to, to put the gun on him. Right. Like the whole thing's a framing. Right. If the kidnapping is true. However, 
because he, I mean, he said, he told us specifically, he remembers going to senior buns after that party. I got to grab my members planning to go to city hall. But after, after senior buns, he don't really remember too much. So unless he remembers more, right. Unless he remembers more. And unless we get like a, you know, affirmative, you know, or sorry, a firm statement from Luis Fernandez. I mean, I think it's, it's, I think he's dead to rights. I think it's over for him. Cause, cause if there ain't no evidence showing that he actually got kidnapped like that, like we think might be the case because of the, the 911 call from Luis Fernandez. I mean, I, I mean, I'll be honest. I don't even think he got kidnapped no more. I mean, there, there is nothing outside of, you know, just having the same kind of suspicion that we have that guy's still talking normally when we're like, Oh, maybe this happened. Maybe that happened. there, there ain't nothing outside of that that really shows that he got kidnapped. I mean, some guy got kidnapped with a clown at city hall and that's all we know. That's what I'm saying is, is I want to believe, I want to believe wholeheartedly, uh, that this was a setup, but I mean, the, the as reality, you would normally. Yeah, the reality, though, is when you actually look at the actual evidence that we have, truth be told, the only thing that I have that leads me to believe other question to what happened is that Braun was shot in the head. I think that's pretty fucking damning. I don't want to overlook left, that. And, and they left him there. And they left him there. I think you, that's you, pretty you damning evidence. You know how evidence. these criminals are. are. They, they uh, one for all or whatever. They they go back for their their buddies. Yeah, in 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 my in in my opinion, and in my experience dealing with either one homicides or two something of this capacity, a bullet to the head is usually a message. That's usually like a done deal. That doesn't make him innocent and it doesn't make him guilty, but it do, it leaves me with question. At this point, though, with the evidence we have, I think we need to charge him. I don't think there's anything we can do other than charge him unless we get something from these, these upcoming statements. Yeah, I agree. I mean, right now, all the evidence points to he's guilty uh, and his own statement kind of what, can you give me like a TLDR? What do you say exactly as far as the statement? Actually, speaking of the statement, could we uh, get a the recording in the report at some point? From the time of the recording starting? Yeah. Um, do you want to put the, the timestamp in or I can do it? Uh, I don't care. Cornwood? Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, for timestamp for what exactly? For the recording. Um, oh, uh, y do you have it? Yeah, I I can put a timestamp in. Okay. Because at some point, I, I I do I do want to listen to that myself. Not not to derail the the. No, you should. I mean, and and that's that's why we that's why we uh started um, the record in the first place. Is it okay if I put it in tomorrow? Um. I mean, actually, you know what? I I might let me, let me let me see if I wrote that down. Okay. Um, I don't see an issue with that. I think uh, Slacks, you would agree. We have plenty of time on this. I, there's no rush. It's just a matter of the earlier we get the information, the the, the more time we have to brainstorm and figure this out. A hundred percent. I think we just take our, our steps with it. Like I said, you have time. It's gonna go on the it's gonna go on the, on the, on the docket, no matter what. So. I'll go on the docket. I would probably want to wrap it up here within at least maximum a week of investigations and just go with what we have. And at the end of the day, sometimes you're not going to have all the cards you need to proceed, but you got you to make a play. You got to just see what happens, right? So. Yeah. Well, in general, thank you to both of you. Actually, thank you to all of you, really. Uh, thank you to both you, Kit and Cornwood, for interrogating him. I'll probably be at some point. I was going to question him, but at this point, I don't think there's anything to question necessarily from my end. I think all the questions I would have had are either answered or came up null and void based on him not knowing. 
So I don't think there's any point in pulling him back in here. Uh, and obviously, Slacks, thank you for all of your help for just uh, up, up to this point with everything. Of course, this Lop is, haven't helped. This is this is a big case. Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah, it's not an easy one too as well. No. Right? I it's not written anywhere, so you got to figure it out on your own. Absolutely. I definitely wanted at least a command member involved with this, no matter what. Because I don't want to mess up my steps. Not that I don't think I would, but I'm going to make sure that we're dotting our I's and crossing our T's with this. Absolutely. Especially with, um, there's so much online. We're not dealing with just a regular civilian's judge. Yeah. Um, besides the recording, do we have anything else we need to discuss? I don't want to obviously hold all of you considering you just had a very large, long academy. Okay. Uh, that, that probably isn't the best timestamp, but that's roughly. Let me take a look I think here. That, I, I think that's roughly it. I hope I have to be subscribed to listen to his VOD. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if that's the... You know what? Maybe I should... If I can match it up with... Uh... God, Cornwood, you got nice hair. Because you know how we have multiple <laughs> tapes running at the same time for... Uh... <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. for re redundancy purposes. I mean, is that? Do you think that'll work, or should I use okay. one of the other ones? My uh, my MDT is slow right now. Uh, fuck. If if it's you know a a a rough time, I'm I'm sure Blop can figure it out. Yeah, if I have to, we, uh, if I have to critique we, the time, I will. Yeah, we had the, uh, you know, we had the recording on, so. Yeah, you could you could see be, that the light is very on. very obvious. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. Not that. I I'm I'm gonna ask this just to ask. While the recording was on, did we re Mirandize him? Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, I think we did it twice because we initially started the recording, Mirandized him, then he asked for a lawyer. We turned off the recording. We got Siobhan in. We turned on the recording and we Mirandized him again. Okay. So uh, wait, this is a do we do we actually have to Mirandize somebody multiple times? Like, like, uh, like, I I we, just did it for this. We just do it for redundancy um, usually, but yeah. we don't start interrogation. You should. Right, but like, let's say it's like we we started and then you know we did it again like ten minutes later. Like, no, no, no. Once you start the interrogation, until they leave. Okay. Yeah, I I just did okay. it because the lawyer showed up and just you know. Yeah, the the redundancy. Yeah, it's it it's good. I would. I was just it, making sure because because I I mean I, surely there's gonna be a time where like shit I'm I'm gonna forget after saying it once. Oh wait, maybe I should do this. You know what I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's just given given the sensitivity of all of this, I just wanted to really cover our butts. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I mean, um, well, go ahead, go mm -hmm. ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Usually during an interrogation uh, of any sorts, I will I will always start the recording with me re Mirandizing them. Uh, this way, if the day in court came and they tried to to claim, oh well, the officer didn't Mirandize me. The judge will just go back and ask, did you Mirandize him on recording? It's nice to pull that time frame to say, hey, here you go. Here's where right. I Mirandize him. Th this yeah, way, this way. Cover your ass, yeah, yeah it, it's a giant cover ass for PD, and it takes all of what? 15 seconds to cover our ass like that? So I typically do that. Uh, and plus, like Kit, you were saying, with, with how sensitive this case is, uh, with who it's involved, I definitely want to dot I's and cross T's at every point and every step of the way. Uh, because I do think that consistency is going to be important for this case. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, 100%. does anybody have anything to eat by chance? I apologize. I hate to do this. Of course, Flop. What oh do you want? Gosh. Oof. Open up your mouth, okay? Uh, whatever you got, just you know, be, just be careful. 
Okay, no, I'm not gonna throw it. That would be rude. Also, make sure y'all call sanitation down here every time we have trash. Yeah, we will do. Thank you. I appreciate that. Here's a drink too as well. Oh, thank you. Do you have any extra food, sir? Of course. Lutus, I got you something special, okay? Uh -huh. You got him a burger, I guarantee it. When I see you, I, I think of two things. Uh -huh. Chocolate. <laughs> and vanilla. Oh, hell, that's good shit. I like that. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. You want a drink as well, Cletus? Thank you. You just have one, just in case, uh, you know. It's a bit chewy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Do you all need anything for me? No, I think we're good. I think, uh, I guess maybe in the next day or two, we'll relink. Uh, I guess the other question, too, is do you want to pull Maple in at any point to let him know that we got the gun from that other case? Sounds good, yeah. I'll, I'll talk to him. He went 42 an hour ago. Okay, got it. Or you can talk to him. It doesn't matter. Just let him know. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull him aside, talk to him, let him know what we're uh, up to, and we'll we'll go from there. Yeah, and I'll get you that out-of-state report from Forensic. So Amazing. Least, uh, if you want to proceed with any potential charges or there's more questions as far as what we have here, at least we'll have that piece of evidence. Do you want to pursue further charges? And if so, obviously, I have no problem with that. I want to talk with you because you you were kind of heading that investigation, and I know I was too, but I want to make sure that we're... we're. Yeah, I think we wrap up with Murphy. Right now, I'm waiting also, like I told you, for that phone subpoena. Yep. Uh, the, the machines are broken. I'm waiting on that Christmas uh, Costello. Gotcha. So once the machines are fixed, I can get my information, and I can pursue charges. Okay. So right now, it's just it's a waiting game. Not a problem with me. That works. We'll reconvene mm -hmm. in the next couple of days. But overall, once again, thank you, everybody. I, I appreciate all the help. This is uh, this is going to be a big one. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, hell, this is uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's real big. I mean, there's uh, I mean, I, again, there's there's literally no evidence that says who could have done it so far. The only evidence at all towards the kidnapping whatsoever is one 911 call and and one statement that archer got from luis fernandez who said what did he say he said he was having headaches or he's on pain medicine so he's, he ain't even sure exactly what he saw mm -hmm. yeah so unless unless he can he can you know <clears throat> give us a, a firm like this is what happened and also you know what he'd probably have to do he would probably mm -hmm. have to would we do a lineup for that for him to identify who he yeah, saw get kidnapped? Yeah, that's what Absolutely. I that's what I wanted Absolutely. to do. That um, would be true. Yeah. You could use that, and that could be brought into court as far as that piece of evidence you've done. That's why. Uh, that's why I documented uh, Murphy's clothes when he got out of ICU. Yeah, yeah. So we shouldn't even ask him. Hey, did you see so and so? Probably. We should say, hey, you know, look at these five folks. Which one of these people did you see get kidnapped? Same clothes, mm -hmm. same everything. Okay. Hey, yeah, Bob, we can do that. Yes, sir. Murphy's lawyer wants to talk to you. I gave you her phone number. Okay. Text it to you. Perfect. She said uh, to me, looking for flop because he had more questions for Murphy. Oh, uh, I don't know if I do, to be honest, up to this point. I, I'll, I'll reach out to her and talk to her regardless. This way, this transparency. Let's see if she has any questions. Also, uh, Cletus. Oh. What happened with that? Um, Rona, thank you for the nine months. Operation on the tier three. The south side. Appreciate you. Taser. Uh, Oh, we we couldn't photo. find a taser at all. All hey, we found gonna, was uh, can we get a bunch of hearts. Uh, we, we went around. We saw some like masks and shit, but but there was how you nothing doing? Hope you're doing great. Thank you guys for all, all of the note. support. I mean, we we couldn't even find the a taser. Play is so fun we just with found this. one I can't radio. Wait to run this back and see I don't where even it goes. think they can. Aren't our radios encrypted? I mean, they can't even use our radios, right? No, they, they I'm can. grabbing they my need, chicken. Um, Give me literally the, the, the like 30 seconds. Comes with encryption. So you found a TV radio? Yeah, we found a radio. Ricky grabbed that radio, but then. Uh, we couldn't find the taser or a gun or anything. So I don't even know why Gene Paul sent you that because, we, I mean, I, I wasn't aware of him having any more PD equipment. Well, I don't know if anybody else speaking, was. I mean, I, I got robbed um, in front of the hospital. I lost all my gear. I lost my clock, my taser. Again? That, that was a week ago or a week and a half right. ago. 
But I'm saying they're, t they're taking both. So just because we recover the Glocks doesn't mean we don't have to recover the Tasers. There's, there right. could be seven Tasers out there and only two Glocks. Right. Well, what, what I'm saying now is... I mean, I, I just wasn't aware of, of what he could have or did not have. or You, you know what I'm saying? So now... Correct. I mean, if we're if we're thinking of potential suspects of who has what, now I mean, now I feel like I I think he could have it because because we went we searched the entire area so either somebody else picked it up after he sent you that picture, or or he went and picked it up himself. Yeah, so you if he changed it, your heart, maybe I'm not sure because he wanted cash, and I told him I was busy and I'll pay after. So maybe that made him change his mind. Oh shit, maybe he uh yeah maybe he picked it back up and he said all right I'll message him later. The problem is, like, I can't prove that picture is legit. I can't prove that that picture. He said he found it in a in a bottle at the beach. Oh, I'm sure. In the ocean. That's what yeah. He said. Maybe the yeah. guy himself sent it to us. Well, shit. Okay. Um. All right. So either way, either way. Uh, I mean, he I might have that anything. taser now. I mean, I'm assuming he does because he's. Sorry, I mean, uh, It ain't there. Academy, he's the only real uh, suspect that we would even have. Oh no, no, you're you're good. You're fine. You want to pursue a search warrant? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we could. The problem is the DOJ will say we well, could have it on this person. So. Right. So, that's the thing. You got to catch him, then see if he's got a taser. If he's not a taser. Then there's right. a possibility, high possibility, it's inside his apartment. Yeah. So we'd have to get him doing something. You'd have to frisk him. You have to get to the point where he searches persons. After that point, if he doesn't have it, but we have reasonable suspicion. I mean, when we have to have PC to search the apartment. A photo affected contact of me. I mean, it's just the problem is like the, the probable cause between the taser and him is. I mean, it's the fact that he contacted you in the first yeah, place. Like, I feel like he not, shouldn't have done that. Not to interrupt. I, I, we do have some weather right. coming in. I'm going to go oh, step shit, out. Oh, shit. That storm yeah, is... I can it. hear it. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting loud. All right. Okay. Woo! What do we think? What are we feeling right now? What, 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 what's, what's, what's running through the head? I would put my camera on, but I'm eating right now. This chicken is, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. They claimed it was like better than other frozen chicken. Healthier, better, cleaner. Um, oh, this tastes like frozen fucking chicken. If you guys are new to the stream, happy to be enjoying your stay. Hit the follow button. I'd love to see you all come back. Hope we're all doing great today. Hope we're all doing well. What a what a good fucking day, man. This is gonna be such a big court case. I can't wait to get all this shit from everybody. <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. Thank you all for the follows. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. It sounds like the fast food argument all over. Well, I did make the joke that I was going to go throw in some frozen chicken in the oven. And I said, actually, I'm going to put in some canes. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be honest. It's good. Not wowing me, though. You know what I mean? It's all good, though. Hey, listen, you, you got to take a chance sometimes. Oh, man. Thank you to all of you. I appreciate all of the support. Does anybody have any questions about the investigation up to this point? Any takers? All 
air fry chicken over oven chicken it's not it's not the way it was prepared um the breading is just weird on whatever the hell i bought it's like it just has a weird taste that wouldn't be masked But I know it's a lot. Um, well, for starters, we uh, we just spoke about the big investigation on Judge Murphy Braun for being found in possession of a firearm. Um, the long and short of it is that Braun was found with a PD firearm that come that comes back to a murder. Um, um, what else? Murphy went into the ICU, the judge, and then we got evidence together of everything. So he has a gun. He's in possession of it. He doesn't remember anything. The only thing that we have that would actually hold him to a bearable limit is that he was shot in the head. And then to be left there with a vehicle scene fleeing, that's going to be the push on the on the 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 judge's lawyer's part. Ad, what's up, brother? How you doing, dude? Not the PD didn't have that tech yet. Sab just said in OSC that all parties agreed that they wanted the gun to come back to a murder. And that we found out OOC that the gun was, uh, uh, I was going to say Sab's, but the gun was, um, oh, it'll come to me. Oh, it'll come to me. Just pop it in before bed. I got you, brother. Hope you're doing good, man. My, my sleep schedule is so fucked. I'm going to grab a seltzer real quick. Give me a minute. like cold drinks or room temperature drinks so what do you think uh happened with the knowledge you have uh do you want what i think happened or what i know happened what i think happened is that murphy braun was taken used for crime I think he took a bullet to the head and was forced to rob somebody. However, based on what the PD have, we have nothing to defend Murphy. And the issue is that a possession charge is nine tenths of the law, which means based on nine tenths of the law, the burden of proof falls on uh, the defense. In other words, it is up to Murphy to prove why he is in possession of that gun. And if he doesn't know why he's in possession of that gun, then unfortunately there's nothing that can be done. So from the, the PD standpoint, nine tenths of the law in possession still stands because that's the way that we operate. Right now it's not looking good for Murphy. Long time no see. Howdy. cold 100 cold we're casing from the pistol recovered around braun uh no afterlife we do not we don't we do not have the ability right now excuse me to collect casings on scenes we uh we don't even have that uh, like as an ability in the pd yet uh our our evidence system we can't pull out a flashlight and look at evidence right now so unfortunately we can't do that we can't look at kate or uh serial numbers on guns or anything all we have are the possessions the casing issue is why why this whole thing happened. I mean, respectfully speaking, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Here here's the reality. And this is this is the horse pill that's hard for people to swallow is that as 
the one behind the character and the one role playing, I will run into things the same way that your streamer will run into things, the same way that their characters are going to run into things. And the beauty of role play is that not everything is going to go exactly how you planned it. And whether that be that we just don't have the ability to do something or we don't have another way of going down this road, the beauty and the reality of the situation is that all parties are willing to roll with punches. Crime. Oh, is that Cap? Some, so we got a serious crime at Mr. PD. Somebody took one of the coffee cups and um, dropped it behind one of the doors and the airlocks in the hallway. It takes you to the armory. I'm sorry, what? Can we not... Can we not get into the armory, sir? No, we can. It's just somebody literally and left uh, a cup. Oh, Jesus. With, with, with the cup piece with it. Like half of the cup. And then they just left it behind one of the doors. It wasn't me, sir. I do love my coffee. But it wasn't me this time. Now, I'm not going to say any names, Matt Rhodes, but there is only one person, Matt Rhodes, who really wants a coffee machine in the Matt Rhodes PD uh, that I think what Matt Rhodes would probably... Ah! 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 What is oh, oh, ah! Jesus! <laughs> Sorry, just, yeah, he got in the way of my, my, my reflexes. Oh my God, I'm washed. Captain, don't look. This is embarrassing. <laughs> yep. Sorry. I was, uh, I was, even I wasn't ready for that one. Matt Rhodes, go on. No, I was just saying, I think, uh, you know, I, I don't want to name names because I, I don't, I don't think calling people out is uh, a, a fair thing, but I, I do think that, uh, some people in the PD really wanted a coffee machine. Matt Rhodes. So. <laughs> hey, you know, you know where we could use a coffee machine? Up, up, up north. Really? Yeah, and that damn Sandy uh, flop. You been there? Up in Sandy? Yeah, you you been to Sandy PD? Uh, it looked like it was boarded up when I was there like a couple of days ago. That's, and that's a Polito PD. It's boarded up. I went there today. It's boarded up. But the uh, the Sandy PD, I and mean, that is nice. Is it? Yeah, it is nice, nice. Yeah. One day. One day. Okay, noted. I I haven't been there yet. Okay, okay. Yeah, you should check it out. I mean, that's that. Now that feels like home. I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, but remember, we're one right now. Clearly, we're one. We're the LSPD. Mm -hmm. Shout after me, LSPD. Mm -hmm. Liberal Snowflake Police Department. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to get dabbed? <laughs> no. Repeat after me, LSPD. LSPD. <laughs> Go LSPD. Go LSPD. And what does LSPD stand for, Cletus? LS Police Department. Hey, that's like a half truth. I mean, that that's that's that's, that's you know, that works. Is it only three of us? Well, we just, we, uh, we just came off of Academy. True. Uh, it would yeah. not surprise me if we had a lot of, uh, a lot of people maybe taking the day to have a breather. Plus we, we, just, uh, we concluded just There is Duncan. Hello. Oh, oh howdy, yeah. Duncan. Hey, uh, Duncan, come up here. Come, come tell us a joke. Come on. Police work is no joking matter, Captain. <laughs> I'm not talking about police work. We're waiting for cops to show up right now. We got nine minutes. Uh, uh. Um. <clears throat> Flop. Hey, dumb kid. Uh, I'm here. I'm here to inform you because uh, I haven't been able to get a hold of you for some days now. That uh, Murphy Braun is awoken from the intensive care unit. Thank you. Get off the podium, Duncan. 
thought I was informing him. He told me to that inform him. That was not a joke, happened. though. That was... You want to know what the joke is about that, though, Cap? Is no one reached out to me. 